My issue is the money issue. I don't want to call it an issue, but I know that in my vortex there are millions of dollars. More. Good job. And <laughs> I'm, Good re job. I'm ready to manifest it and see it. And I feel well, like I'm on the edge of a new idea. Yeah. And I don't know what that idea is. That's because you're focused so much on the issue of money. Okay. When the idea feels necessary to get something that isn't, then the fact that it isn't blocks getting the idea that leads to the improvement. We'll say that again. When the idea that you feel you're on the brink of feels necessary to solve the issue, your word, to solve the issue, the issue looms big enough that the idea is blocked. So how do I allow the idea by taking off my attention from the issue? By taking money out of the equation by being excited about the idea and not what it will produce or not what it will solve letting the emotion be the prize not the manifestation this is big so here's this vibrational reality that is full of all that you want and the key that opens the door for you and starts letting the ideas flow out it's the emotion it's not the solving of a problem it's the desire we want you to crave there's yearning in that but we like the feeling of the word we want you to crave freedom not money even though they often mean the same thing but when you crave freedom it's so much cleaner than when you crave money I, I, can you feel the difference I crave that freedom man. I want you to crave that feeling of an idea exploding in your mind not what it will produce later but just that moment in time because if you crave that and get it then there'll be another and another and another and another and after a while you'll start seeing how the ideas lead to each other and get you the result that you want but you don't have the ability to focus wholly and only on the result that you want but you have the ability to receive this and 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 later when it all comes together and you stand back and you look at it you go oh I remember sort of how that evolved but I had no idea I was gonna get these results these results are so much more than I even know I was headed for and if I had been focused upon these results I would have probably stifled it way earlier and prevented it from coming and I feel like I'm doing that because I feel like I'm so reality based. Like I have to pay my bills, I have to pay rent. And in the meantime, I want to like take action and just get a job and do the you work. You might be reality based. You want to be, you want to be reality based because that's where the good stuff is. In other words, we've been talking about that all day to be able to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. That's reality based in the way that you mean it. There's nothing amiss with any of that, but you're not only reality based mm -hmm. you are also vibrationally based you're also emotionally based right. you have the ability to mix it up some because if you're only reality based in the way you mean it then that means every day you're just looking at how much money you don't have in your bank account yeah. and no more can come more is trying to make its way in no this is how it is this is how it is the money's trying to get in no this is how it is this is how it is Ideas are trying to get in. No, this is how it is. I'm reality based, which means I can only see exactly what is, which means nothing can ever change. Yeah. But we exaggerated that deliberately to make you feel foolish, yeah. Yeah. to make you realize that you got to lighten up. A lot of people want you to face reality, mm -hmm. but they don't know that there's another option. And I believe that. I believe in my words. I, I know it's there. I feel it. it. Let us say something here. This is going to help you. So reality based in the way you mean it, which means focus on what is. Tell it like it is. Tell the truth. Face the facts. And others who want you to do that think that the alternative to that is being irresponsible or being crazy or eating frou-frou dust or being illogical but that alternative that so many people are wary of and wanting to guard you or protect you from is all based upon a lackful vibration that doesn't allow clarity and focus and magic and music and alignment and inspiration so let's just take some examples let's talk about the musician 
who doesn't want to just play the music that exists in reality, who wants to write something new. An absolute realist would say, why are you messing with music? Why don't you just play what's already there? Or an artist who is wanting to tap into something more and express it onto the canvas, the reality-based counselors would say, what are you messing with more art about? There's plenty of art out there. Just go f find some that already exists. We're trying to sort of shake you loose so that you'll feel how illogical it is to be solely reality-based because you didn't come to face reality. You came to add to reality. You came to create reality. You came to renew reality. You came to make reality even more than it already is. And you didn't come for the accomplishment of a new or improved reality. You came for the fun of the process of the reality changing. And the reality can't change if you're only looking at the reality. The fun is in the molding. The fun is in the ideas exploding. The fun is in the following of the feeling. The fun is in the universal forces assisting you. And the fun is in the reality that you then get to witness. Of course it is. So how can I take my attention off of it and just be like, I feel like I'm holding on to a rope and I can't let it go in a way. Like I have my mind. For a while go we've there been and... saying take money out of the equation. So okay. let us show you how to do that. So foremost, the feeling of money, what it most represents is the freedom, freedom to be or do or have anything that I choose. But a lot of people, when they even say the word freedom, they mean freedom from bondage. They mean freedom from something I don't want. Freedom from an employer. Freedom from restriction or freedom from limitation or freedom from harder choices or freedom from... But when you focus upon the true component of what financial remuneration means to you. We think freedom is one of the first words or feelings to find. And then you want to clean up freedom by making sure that you're talking about freedom, not freedom from something unwanted. Freedom meaning the ability to go towards something. So now let's flesh out freedom a little more. Freedom to come to this seminar if you want to. Freedom to sit in this room and have the fun that we're having today or freedom to get up and leave if it doesn't feel good. Nobody's going to stop you. Only some of the doors are locked. <laughs> All the doors are open. You can get up and go. You have the freedom to be here, freedom to not, freedom to come, freedom to not come, freedom to stay, freedom to go, freedom to be inside, freedom to be outside. Freedom to focus upon things that are not beautiful. Freedom to focus upon things that are beautiful. Freedom to choose. Freedom to eat at the hotel. Good idea, really good food. Freedom to eat out somewhere else. Freedom. I'm so free. There are so many choices that I can make. And then as you deliberately make more decisions in every day, because you are free to make more decisions in every day, the money will be less of an issue, but the freedom which is at the basis of it will be activated within you in a strong and fluid, open way. And just getting your attention off of money, but on to what it really means. Lots will shift within you. One of the things that we encouraged some time ago, and every single person who applied this process received immediate results from it. And we won't tell you how few tried. But every single person who applied this process had immediate results. And we're not kidding you even a little. Somewhere get $100, put it in your pocket, and walk around all day and acknowledge how many things that you could enjoy with that $100 if you really wanted to. I could do that, I could do that, I could eat there, I could do that, I could watch that, I could buy one of those shoes. <laughs> what happens when you do that is, it cracks you up, no, no. it begins to give you the visceral, emotional awareness that you have freedom, you have this freedom, so if you spend that don't actually spend it, but mentally choose a hundred times a day. Oh, what a shift in your vibration. 
But if you're walking around, I can't afford that, and I can't afford that, and I can't afford that, and I'm worried about that, and I can't afford that, then you're doing exactly the opposite of that. So just find some way to shift that just a little bit. And when it tilts on the fulcrum just a little bit, now you begin letting more in and letting more in and letting more in. And then money starts coming from unknown places. The things that people would tell us in seminars and the letters that people would write to Esther would say things like, I had an inheritance that I didn't know I had and it happened. Or I bought a lottery ticket and I won a thousand dollars. Or a horse that I had sold to someone 10 years ago and I'd even forgotten that they owed me $300. They paid me $300 for the horse. Or, 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 or. Hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of experiences people began to have because they shifted just enough that they stopped blocking something that they'd been asking for. You see, there's got to be an open circuit. What you do is you ask and then you block. You ask with your desire and then you block with your belief, which electrocutes you. When the circuit's not open, but you try to get power to go through a closed circuit, it's a shocking and uncomfortable experience. And after a while, you stop asking because you think that asking means discomfort. But asking with an open circuit doesn't mean discomfort. It means clarity and exhilaration and accomplishment and effectiveness and all the things that you want. So think in terms of you being the because you're both you are the asker which is the summoning of the current and you're also the keeper of the gate that lets it in or doesn't so when it's all wide open or just getting a little more wide open then it starts being really fun and then the ideas really flow and instead of saying I'm on the brink of something you say oh man am I getting the ideas are they flowing oh it's really flowing life feels so good to me are you rich no, not monetarily yet, but I'm rich with ideas. I'm rich with clarity. I'm rich with emotions of good feeling. Oh yeah, I'm starting to be kind of rich with money too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which came first? The money which made you feel good or the feel good that brought the money? <laughs>